Is the Bold N1 a good phone to buy? Well, in this video, we're gonna find out. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with my Bold N1 review. Now, Bold is a new sub-brand that was recently launched by Blue. So essentially, Bold phones are gonna be a bit more premium, than your typical blue smartphone. You're gonna be getting more updates. So essentially, blue is kind of like Toyota and Bold is like Lexus. It's owned by a bigger company, but operates as its own independent brand. Now I'll tell you what, from my experience with the Bold N1, clearly Bold is off to a very strong start because this phone is already becoming one of my favorite devices of 2019. Now currently, you can buy the Bold N1 on Bold's website for $199. Now that's their promotional price, so I don't know how much longer that's going to be going on for. So maybe when you watch this video, that offer will be over. But you can also buy this phone on Amazon for $249.99. Now even at $249.99, I definitely feel this phone is worth it, as you'll see in this video, because it really does pack in a lot for the price. So even though Bold is supposed to be more of a premium brand, they're still packing in a bunch of value. Now this device is GSM unlocked, which means that in the US, it's gonna work very well with GSM carriers, such as AT&T and T-Mobile, as well as Metro by T-Mobile and Cricket, and smaller carriers too, like Mint Mobile and Straight Talk. So it's really nice that this phone is factory unlocked because you can easily switch from carrier to carrier. So maybe today you're using Cricket, well, tomorrow you can use T-Mobile. Now the phone features a 6.4 inch AMOLED display at 1080p with a 403 PPI with a 19.5 by 9 aspect ratio. And this is probably one of the best displays that I've seen on a budget smartphone in a long time. It really blows everything else I've seen out of the water. In addition to that, as you've probably noticed already, we do not have a notch at the top. Instead, we have a pop-up front-facing camera, which can be activated by tapping on this button here to switch to the front-facing camera. And as you can see, it immediately pops up there. And the quality from the front-facing camera is great. I actually have portrait mode on right now. I'm gonna turn that off. This is the regular mode. Now, later on in the video, you will see photo and video test samples from both the front and rear cameras. But this pop-up front-facing camera certainly is great. So I'm a big fan of this design. As you can see, the bezels are very small. We do have a slightly larger bezel on the bottom there compared to the top, but still, it's pretty much a bezel-free design here, and it's very sharp. Now, pop-up front-facing cameras is a feature we're seeing more and more, especially in flagship phones, but it's just now starting to make its way over to budget devices. Now, in addition to the Bold N1, we've also seen a pop-up front-facing camera with the Xiaomi Mi 9T, and the upcoming Umidigi X will also have a pop-up front-facing camera. So we're seeing it more and more with budget phones, but it's definitely something that's taken off quite a bit with flagships, such as the OnePlus 7 Pro. But the 19 by 9 aspect ratio is great. The device is really easy to hold. It's also very easy to reach over to the sides of the device, whether you're holding it with your left or right hand. And the pixel density is excellent. Having 403 PPI on a phone that is under $250 is really impressive. Now, if that was not enough for you, Bold has another trick up their sleeve. So instead of having a fingerprint sensor on the rear of the phone, like we've seen with many other budget phones in the past, this device actually has a built-in in-screen fingerprint sensor, and it works really well and it's nice and accurate. So I'm definitely happy with it. It might not be quite as quick as having a fingerprint sensor on the back of your phone, but it's accurate and that's what I really care about. So that pop-up front-facing camera is 13 megapixels. The device features 128 gigabytes of internal storage with SD card expansion. So 128 gigs is a lot of space. So I'm really happy to see they did include that much space. This device does have wireless charging, which is a feature that I actually use quite a bit. I have a Qi wireless charger by my desk and I have one by my bed as well. So pretty much those are the only two places I'm at at all times. <laughs> so it is really convenient being able to just stick this phone on the Qi charger versus having to plug it in every time I want to charge it. If you wanna do that though, we do have a USB-C port on the bottom, so you're welcome to charge the device that way. 
Now on the back side here, we have a dual camera setup with a 16 megapixel main camera and a 5 megapixel secondary camera. With the 5 megapixel secondary camera, you are able to get portrait mode on the phone, so it does work really well, just like it does on the front camera as well. Now the device features 4 gigabytes of RAM and has the MediaTek Helio P70 processor. So the P70 is actually a very solid processor. It's not quite as fast as flagship processors like the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, but it's definitely faster than the Qualcomm Snapdragon 435. This is the Intuitu benchmark score that I got with the Bold N1. And you can see here that for the CPU score, we get 60, 75, 4. So what I recommend doing is running the Intuitu benchmark test on your current smartphone and seeing what kind of scores you get and then compare those scores to the scores here on the Bold N1 to see how much of a dramatic improvement this phone is. Now I know that many of you will comment on this video mentioning that benchmark scores aren't everything, and that's true. But if you notice a dramatic difference between the benchmark scores on your existing phone and this phone, then it's very likely that this phone will indeed be an upgrade. But I do really like the MediaTek Helio P70. I know that MediaTek in the past hasn't necessarily had the best reputations because some of their processors have been a little bit on the slower side, but the P70 really does change things. It's nice and fast and really does work well. This phone is gonna be great for all kinds of gaming, whether it's simple games like Temple Run and Candy Crush or higher end games like PUBG Mobile. Now, unfortunately, Fortnite will not work with the Bold N1. And the reason for that is because Fortnite only works with Qualcomm processors that are in the upper tier. And Bold and MediaTek have no control over that. That is something that the creators of Fortnite have chosen. But having four gigs of RAM on this phone is great. I'm really happy it has that much RAM. And of course, the Helio P70 is awesome as well. Now video recording on the device maxes out at 1080p at 30 frames per second. Later on in the video, you will see a test sample of that. We get a beefy 3,500 milliamp hour internal battery with the Bold N1, which is always nice to see. And the device runs Android 9 Pie. Now this version of Android 9 Pie is pretty close to stock. You do get a little bit of bloatware on the phone, such as news, Amazon, Viva, live TV. Bold news, we also get some shortcuts here to weather, Facebook, Bing, and Yahoo, and other bloatware as well, such as Opera. But what's great is that if you want to, you can uninstall all of this stuff and get rid of all of it. Another awesome thing too is that Bold is pledged to update this phone to Android 10, which is the next version of Android. So if you are really wanting a phone with Android 10, but you're not sure if you should buy this device because it has Pi right now, just know that in the future, you will eventually get Android 10. Now, they have not committed to a date when Android 10 will be launched on the phone, so I don't know if it's going to be in a few months from now or six months from now. I have no idea, but at least you know that the upgrade is on the way. And Blue has made it very clear that when they promise that an update is coming out later on, they will fulfill that promise. It's not like they just say it and they don't do it. They always follow up and keep to their word. That's their company policy. So we have a great design here with a 6.4 inch display that's AMOLED, which AMOLED is awesome. Nice and clear here, as you can see, nice and bright too. 1080p, 403 PPI, 19 and a half by nine aspect ratio. I don't know what's not to like here. Now on the left side of the phone, we just have the slot for the micro SD card and SIM card. And since tons of people always wanna see it, I will pop this open to show you how many slots you get with the phone. So this phone is dual SIM compatible. However, if you do add two SIM cards to it, you will not be able to use the micro SD card. So it's kind of one or the other, but at least you can put in two SIMs if you want and essentially combine two phones into one. Now on the right side here, we have the volume button and we have the power button. We also have a metal band running around the sides of the Bold N1, so a very premium fit and finish here. Then on the top of the phone, we have the noise canceling microphone and the pop-up front facing camera. Then on the bottom of the device, we have the speaker. We have the USB-C port for charging and data transfer. We have the microphone and we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Taking a look at the back side of the phone, we have this nice piano black finish. It's certainly a fingerprint magnet, but does look very nice. We have the bold branding at the bottom designed in Miami. We have the camera module here at the top and the flash. 
device features 32 gigabytes of storage with SD card expansion up to 512 gigabytes. So having the video viewing experience in the Bold N1 is great for many reasons. Of course, having this nice clear AMOLED display really brings out the colors here and makes everything pop. Having these small bezels all around makes it feel like you're literally holding the pure video file in your hands. And the speakers are very loud too. Now we just have that one speaker on the side of course, so if you happen to cover that up with your finger, it is going to muffle the audio quality. But if you're big in watching video content, whether that's Netflix or YouTube, which this is right here, then you're definitely gonna like this phone a lot. If you're really into Instagram, then you're gonna like the Bold N1 as well. Scrolling is ridiculously smooth here. Everything performs really well especially because of that Helio P70 processor, which is a premium budget processor. This is a great phone for creating content for Instagram, whether it's on your story or just a regular post. As you can see here, everything is nice and clear with that front facing camera. Creating content for Instagram, whether it's on your story or just a regular post. As you can see here, everything is nice and clear with that front facing camera. The phone has a really good microphone, as you saw there. So mic quality is great. So you will be able to create excellent content to share with your followers. Then when you want to view your stories, everything looks very good here too. Nice and optimized, nice and clear. And yeah, everything pops, everything looks nice. I really like this display. It's great for viewing content. So here is the box that comes with the Bold N1. You can see we have bold right on the side and on the front as well. Then on the back, we have this really cool kind of coloring here with the specifications that I've already gone over in this video. So let's check out and see what all is included in the box. So I'll just kind of dump all that out right now. So we get a bold branded wall adapter for charging. You will get quick charging with this. So another premium feature here coming from bold. You get a bold sticker, always a nice thing to add to your collection. We get a TPU case here, so a nice clear case, very simple, but still gets the job done. Not the most protective case ever out there, but still nice that bold does include a free case in the box. We get a nice pair of headphones here with a microphone on the headphones. You have the ability to play and pause music as well as skip ahead, and you can take and end calls with this mic as well. We get a SIM card removal tool, which I actually used a paper clip to do that, but you do get a tool included if you wish to use that instead. And we get a USB-C cable in the box, so a really cool, interesting design here, kind of a nice chrome look to it, so pretty interesting and pretty wild. And we get a tempered glass screen protector, and we get a cleaning cloth to make sure you get all of the junk off of your display before applying the screen protector. So great to see that we get all of these different accessories included in the box. This is something that Blue has been doing for a long time. They really do over deliver here and pack in a ton of value. So really despite this device being a more premium phone, you still get all the different accessories that you traditionally get with regular blue devices. So just another reason to purchase the Bold N1. And here is their website, boldphone.com. And like I mentioned, if that 199 promo price is still going on, this is where you're gonna be able to take advantage of that deal. So check out boldphone.com to see if they are offering it for that price tag. And if not, then take a look at the link in the video description to see the latest pricing on Amazon. Photo and video quality from the Bold N1 is very impressive especially the photo quality. You're really able to take some nice looking photos with immaculate colors, and you'll be able to view those great looking photos on this device's awesome display. So Bold did a great job with the cameras on the device. You're able to capture all your various memories, whether you use the HDR mode or the regular mode or portrait mode or whatever you wanna do. There's even a pro mode on here if you want to really get into the details with how you're taking your photos. But I'm not much of a photographer, so I typically just do the standard auto mode. But in every mode that I've used with this phone, I've been able to take good looking photos and videos. So I do not think it's as good as what you get with a flagship device like the Galaxy S10 or ZTE Axon 10 Pro or with the iPhone 11. But really, for this price, these cameras are way better than they should be. And that's really just the truth. So Bold is really over delivering on the camera quality. Now let's cut over to some video samples and you can check those out. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here coming at you with a test video in 1080p with the Bold N1.
We do have autofocus in video mode, in case you're wondering. But let me know what you think of the quality. Hi everyone, this is Kevin here, coming at you with a test video with the front-facing camera on the Bold N1. So let me know what you think of the quality. But this is the pop-up front-facing camera. It's pretty bright out today. I'm kind of in the shade right now. So I'll go a little bit into the sun so that you can see how things look. But definitely let me know your thoughts about the quality. So is the Bold N1 a good phone and do I recommend buying it? Yes, I do. I think it's a great device. It really does check every box that I would want in a budget Android device. I think they're spot on with the price. I almost feel like $199 is a little bit too inexpensive for the Bold N1. And I guess that's why it's a promo price to really get people excited and into the phone. But really at $249.99, this is a great deal. This is definitely a phone that's going to last you for at least several years. And getting that promised Android 10 update will definitely prolong your ability to use the phone. So I'm really happy with it overall. The only thing that I wish was different is that the pop-up camera comes up a little bit slowly. But that's alright. I mean, it gets the job done. But if you were trying to take a quick selfie for some reason, you do have to kind of wait a second for it to pop up. So definitely not as fast as what you'd get with a traditional teardrop notch phone, or really any phone with a front-facing camera. But I'm really interested to know what you think about the Bold N1. Do you think it lives up to the hype? Do you agree with what I talked about in this video? Do you disagree? Let's have a conversation down in the comments. And if you're looking to buy the Bold N1, definitely take a look at the link in the video description to where you can check it out on Amazon. But this is Kevin here. Let me know your thoughts about the device, and I will see you in the next video.